This is the Donut 3 from Banggood. It's a 140mm 3 inch prop ducted frame and it comes in at around $30 which is pretty cheap compared to the other ducted frame options on the market. At that price you get a pretty bare bones kit. There's no instructions and the box is pretty plain. The quality of the carbon is okay and the quality of the TPU prints is decent. Not too bad. But the ducts are not printed in TPU. They seem to be uh, some sort of PLA or ABS print. They might take a bump here or there, but I wouldn't expect them to take a hard crash. So putting this thing together it couldn't be easier. You've just got the four standoffs and the arms. So the uh, standoffs are about 28 millimeters tall, and the stack space is about 31 millimeters tall because you've got the three millimeter arm. So it's uh, kind of a, a strange number, but it should be plenty of space for most stacks. And in fact, you've got um, the option for two 20 millimeter stacks or a single uh, 30.5 millimeter stack. In fact, you could even run a single 20 millimeter stack right in the middle there. The ducts slide onto the standoffs and the ducts are also about 31 millimeters tall. Just make sure you get them right side up because the screw holes at the end of the arms need to be facing down. Now you need to mount the camera to the brackets before you put them in and this will hold a 19 millimeter micro camera. It won't take a full size camera, but it should be able to take something like the Cadex Tarsier. Now if you want to use the TPU parts, you need to make sure you put the screws through the part before you screw the top plate on. Now would I trust this TPU mount with my Hero 7 Black? Maybe not. I'd probably opt for a different print that wraps around the front and back of the camera rather than a battery strap that wraps around the sides. The screw holes on top are about 20 millimeters apart and you need to keep that in mind because you won't be able to attach any kind of camera mount with zip ties or a battery strap because the ducts are in the way. Finally you need to use a 1.5 millimeter hex screwdriver to attach the four screws at the corners. They thread right into the plastic so there are no nuts holding them in place but they do seem to hold on pretty well. I'm just not sure how long the threading will last in that plastic. So I just picked this frame up as a curiosity. I've been really interested in building a Cinewoop and I thought for $30 let's see what this is like. I wasn't sure if I'd actually build it but after putting it together here and making this video I think I'll actually build something with it. It seems like it could be a good option for a budget Hero 7 carrier. So keep an eye out for my build. I'll be posting a build guide on rotorbuilds.com and I'll be getting some flight footage on this using my uh, Hero 7 Black. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please visit my website, rotorbuilds.com, for plenty of build ideas. And you can follow me on Instagram at rotorbuilds. Please subscribe to this channel for more FPV-related content. And don't forget to drop a like. Thank you.